everybody. It's your real life realtor, Ashley Ann. I just got finished showing a few properties over on the south side Mandarin area. <clears throat> and I am now on my way to pick up my sign and key box from one of my listings that I sold. And the weather has definitely changed here in Florida. <laughs> but it's okay. We are dealing with it. It's still December and I'm wearing like a light jacket. So I can handle it, I believe. <laughs> um, I just wanted to tell you a little bit about the story after I finish jamming out to some Eminem. Um, so I actually, I got um, a lead. It's a USDA. Someone had inquired about 100% financing and through conversations, I discovered that she may be eligible for a VA loan, which is also 100% financing, but you get amazing rates and um, they, just, they just take care of you. So USDA is only confined to rural areas. So being in the Jacksonville market, you're looking at like Middleburg, Green Cove Springs, um, Uly, Bradford County, um, like Stark, Palaka, those, those type of areas. Um, so with VA, it's 100% financing and there's no, there's no requirements as far as the location, which is really helpful. And another great thing about US or uh, another great thing about VA is um, how much the seller can contribute to your closing costs, but they can also contribute to your debts too. Bet your loan officer didn't let you know that one. So I think that's why it's so important to work with a real estate agent that is not afraid to get into the guidelines of loan approval. So they can have the right conversations with your loan officer and really work with you and the team as one to help you get the best program that's available for you. Or, I mean, just overall, so you can make an informed decision. This is a huge investment that you're making. So it's so very, very important. Um, the client that I actually just met with, she is going to be renting for another year um, just because her lease is up next month. So that gives us some time to get her affairs in order. And get her a new place to stay. Um, so the real life portion of this is that um, the listing that I'm going to actually has its own unique story. Um, it was a woman that I met through a friend of mine and, um, you know, I asked her all the same questions that you would ask at your first introduction when it comes to listing a home. Are you the only owner? I seen that the home was listed into an estate. Is there anyone else on the estate that, um, could possibly have any, claim to the property. All the answers were no. Um, I worked with a title company for the first time and I felt really bad that I referred her out to them. So that is something that you really want to talk to your real estate agent about and look into yourself. So if a real estate agent does recommend a title company um, as your seller, ask them how many closings have you had with that title company? How often do you work with the title company? Why are you referring them? Why do you recommend them? I heard a lot of great things about our sister company, um, Florida Homes Realty Settlement Services. And I figured since it was in-house, it would be a lot easier with the transaction and everything. But like I mentioned before, I had never worked with them in the past. Um, I, I do have, <laughs> and that's not like me because I have a really small network of referrals. 
I only work with, I only refer out one inspection company that does 98% of my deals. The other 2%, the buyers have found their self. Um, and that's actually how I found this inspection company as one of my buyers had used them. So I felt really comfortable with them. I loved his report. It was something that wasn't like any other report that I had. Um, he does free wind mitigation and four point inspections with every inspection that he does. So, I mean, he's just fantastic. I only have one insurance guy that I refer out. Um, I have a couple loan officers depending on what you're looking for. But when it comes to the title company, I never had worked with them before. And I, you know, I won't take this chance again with the clients that I refer out. So it's important because we would have known that there was other sellers that was on that property weeks and weeks and weeks before if the title company was doing what they were supposed to. So they definitely prolonged the process over and over and over again. So it was not a good experience, but we ended up switching title companies and um, it just became this huge probate situation that I have dug my feet in and um, really took charge of. So you want a real estate agent that's that's going to work for you. And every client that I work with, I, I do take it personally. I know you're not supposed to, but I'm real. So <laughs> I, I do. Um, I like to see, I like to think that all of my buyers and sellers do become friends and someone that you know, if they ever do have any questions, they could always give me a call. I had a client um, call me yesterday to talk to me about his insurance situation because they just had dropped him from his insurance and um, just wanted to kind of see if I had any ideas, um, which brings me back to my inspection guy because he does need a new um, wind mitigation because there was a roof put on. So I know that the inspector that I refer all my clients out to will give him either a discount or just come out there and, you know, do it for free. So it's, it's important to get to know your real estate agents referral network and ask the questions why they're referring out those people. Um, in real estate, we're not able to get kickbacks, but that doesn't mean that um, certain loan officers don't do stuff for agents that prompts them to refer out to them or different situations like that. It, it gets kind of messy when you think about some things that could possibly be going on in the background. So working with me, you don't ever have to worry about that. Um, I apologize. I'm Like I said, I'm going to pick up my sign. So I got you guys kind of hanging out with me on the road. Um, so we did end up closing though. We went under contract back in August, um, two days on the market, by the way. But it, it did end up being quite the extension. So we didn't end up closing until, shoot, the end of November. So that, that was a long time and I got really lucky working with the buyer's real estate agent that really held it together on that side. Um, so yeah, that's the surreal dealio today <laughs> on my, <clears throat> on follow, follow the real life realtor, Ashley Ann. Um, and you guys could always hit me up if you have any questions or anything like that. I do a lot of referrals. Like I have a referral right now into Virginia and I work with an agent out there. He's absolutely fantastic in the top 10 of his market. Um, I did a deal out in Michigan, which was a really good friend of mine. Um, and I know that she's very particular. So <laughs> I had to talk to a couple agents before I really referred her out to any of them. 
So if you do have any questions, it doesn't matter what state you're in or anything like that or what area in Florida you're looking in, just give me a call. If I don't have the answer, I'll definitely find it out. And that's me signing off. So I just pulled in. <laughs> All right. Well, you guys have a lovely evening. And I'm actually going to stop real quick so I can sign off. You guys have a lovely evening. And you can always reach me at 904-535-1902 or flhomemarket at gmail.com. That's F as in Frank, L as in Lily, homemarket at gmail.com. Thanks, guys. I'll talk to you soon.